Welcome guys to this new video of TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to import reviews from the actual Amazon directly into your um, into your Shopify store. So the very first thing you want to do, of course, is to focus into installing an application. Just in case you haven't claimed your Shopify store, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description. Now you have access to it. So the very first thing you want to do is to install the application now. The Shopify store that allows you to import reviews from Amazon. So there are a lot of applications that can be helping you. For example, there's Ali Reviews and so much more. But to clarify which is the best for you, just go here into Applications. Into Apps, what you want to do is to type the word Reviews. Inside here, just type here Search Reviews in the Shopify App Store. This will too be taking you directly into the App Store so you can look out for applications that can be helping you for making the import of what you're actually looking for. So, for example, there's Ali Reviews. And here, what you want to do is to make sure that whatever element that you chose, you make sure this one comes for free and that there's no trial version. So once you are okay with that, hit now into install. Now, what you need to do, of course, is to, of course, make sure this one exists active. Now, as you can see, we have to install the application and hit now into install. So as you can see, the application has now been successfully installed. So what I need to do now is to connect my Amazon seller account. Once you install the application, you need to connect your account of Amazon in order to continue and to use the application so you can import the reviews. So uh, this allows you to access the reviews as you stated with the products on Amazon. First of all, I choose the plan I needed to make the reviews for. In this case, let's focus into a free plan. I'm going to close this and focus for free. Now into the free plan, we're only able to add a total reviews of number five. So you have to make sure that you're okay with that. Now here, what you're going to do is to continue with the free plan if you wanted to. And here now what I need to do is to choose where I need to continue importing uh, my actual products. In this case, I go for get started. Now I am inside the dashboard. Inside the dashboard, what I need to do is to first of all in Beamed, enable the app in Beamed. If you click in those, it's going to be sending you directly into the editor of the Shopify of your store. So make sure that here into the libhot, you have the app in Beamed. And inside the app in Beamed, you have the core snippet. Enabled it and hit now into save. After that, just leave this as it is. Let's go back and here just check the box mark and mark this as done. Now it says add review box. I click here and this one should be taking us directly into the same spot where we're currently at. So just make sure that we are once again into the add snippet. We have add and beams into the section and into the section I should see that the review box has been added. So your store must have at least one active product before you can edit a product template. So that's okay. You can do this later on. Now it's going to be asking you, of course, to make sure how we can import some reviews. If you click here into the web pod that says import the reviews, it's going to be asking you which is the product which you'd like to add. So to make this much more easier from AliExpress and into Amazon, what you can do is to install an actual extension directly into your browser. So this one should be added and of course applicable much more faster. So I'm going to add this extension into my Chrome web store. And as you can see, here it is. So into the left part, into the right part, actually here, as you can see here is my Shopify store here now into install if you want to. In this case, I won't do this at the moment. I click here into my reviews. I go for a stunning social proof that drives to some growth. So I go back here into Amazon and here I wanted to look out for products that I'm actually selling or I wanted to import directly into my store. So let's say for example that I scroll down I go for here, for some smart watches, and here I select one smart ring, for example, here. I select it, and as you can see, here is the ratings. So I go here into my ratings, and here are all my customer elements. Zero tolerance to fake reviews, to customer reviews, to customer says. So if I go back here, I'm gonna try to check out here my AliExpress product. Now that I have one product added into my store, I can go back into Ali Reviews. Directly here into Ali Reviews, I can look out for my product here into Import Reviews. So usually we do have all the products here. So as you can see, here it is. So I choose the option that says Import Reviews. As you can see, it's going to be showing us reviews that has been added, for example, from AliExpress and so much more. Usually can choose the option that says Customize the Settings 
and exclude reviews sold from AliExpress and choose reviews sold from Amazon. So make sure this one has not been enabled. For example, here I auto publish this, of course. I disable this and I hit now into save. So my sources from Amazon has now been enabled. I go back and once I go back, I make sure that here all my product has now been imported. So you can import this if you wanted to or delete it. So here just go for import all if you wanted to. And then later on, what I just need to do is to make sure that my product has not been added directly into my store. Make sure that you have published your reviews before you check those out. Once it appears into published, I can go back into my product page, reload it, and make sure that it now appears inside here. So as you can see, it says one review. Scrolling a little bit down, I now have my review added to them. And there you have it, how we can import uh, reviews from Amazon directly into your Shopify store. A really easy tutorial, really easy process. If you're looking for more tutorials, if you're looking for more elements of Shopify, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how we can get started here inside Shopify. Thank you once again. See you next time.